Hare Rama, Arjuna, Arjuna, Hare Hare, Arjuna, Hare Krishna, Oh Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 na Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama Rama, Rama Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Rama Rama. Hare Hare! Hare Hare! Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Latvia, but I live in Germany. From Latvia? Latvia. Oh, really? From Riga? No, from Dagobus. Another city, huh? But you're living now where? Here, Nuremberg? Yes. Oh, really nice. Wonderful. Working? Yes. Okay, good. Well, you speak English, German, and Latvian, is it? No, Russian. 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 They have Latvian language, huh? Not really, some old language, huh? <laughs> Good, you're multilingual. What other language? Any other language? Uh, no, just, just, just me. Very good. Very good. Could you check my room? And what is your name? Nikita. 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 Okay, very. Quite a popular name, I think, isn't it? Nikita? Yes. I have a few friends from the past, Nikita, who came from that part. Let's see. Hare Krishna, well welcome again, those who, he who has just arrived, ah, not just he, some has arrived. So I think tonight, Hare Krishna, we have three, how long have you been in touch with the Hare Krishnas, Nikita? How long I'm in touch with Hare Krishna? I, uh, uh, my, my first, uh, Meeting? Touch, uh, was about 13 years ago. Oh, a long time. That was in Latvia? No, here in Germany. In Germany. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And I can't remember everyone's names. When, and we need translation here. When did Mata first uh, come in touch? This mm. Olga. What's that mean? It's her name, Olga. No, when did she first come in touch with Hare Krishna? How many years? One year, two years, ten years? About, about four years ago. Four years. And yourself? Four, four, four years also? also? About four years ago. Nice, very nice. And uh, uh, husband? Ivan also. Uh, they they journeyed together. Alisa and her husband joined together about four years ago. They joined together? Yeah. yeah. Good. Very good. So it's up to the children. If they, what will they do if they if they don't stay? Are they they're staying here, or they're going to play, or what will they do? 
We can have a little reading about Krishna if they want to stay. They want to go outside. Daniel is there supervise maybe some. They want to play. It's normal. Everyone's going out to play by the looks of it. Even Nikita Nikita's gonna join them. <laughs> Everyone's going good idea, let's go and play. Let us read from the Krishna book. Do we have Krishna book here in English? I'm sorry, I, spontaneous. It depends on the audience more than me. They gave three, they gave nine names. I didn't choose one of them. <laughs> it was all spontaneous according to how they were, you know. I say when you're giving a name, you have to see with a person. To see, you have to feel the person, not just the name. Yeah. So we're going to read from Krishna book. Let's sing a song. This is an easy song. Anyone can sing along. It's an easy song. You can't go wrong. Bong bong. Ding dong. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna, 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 hey. It's only two words. Krishna, all together. Krishna, 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 hey. Very simple. That's the first two lines. Very simple lines. I'm sure you can learn that like those two lines so I'll sing it through once then you can sing it through afterwards that's the Bhagavad Gita that one that's not a Krishna book oh, yes. God dear you've forgotten what the Krishna book is God damn Janati you're embarrassing Krishna book I can see one behind you there right behind you there that one give me that one is that in English or what language is that in that's German. Okay, well, that's a good start. Someone who reads German can hold it. Keep it out for those who read German. Later, when we find where we're, when we get an English version, we keep it nearby. Here they come. Krishna! 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 Arjuna! <laughs> Krishna spoke to Arjuna. So we we'll read from the Krishna book. Okay, I want you to mention one number between one and ten. Okay. Nikita, one number, number between one and ten. Any number you like. Say a number. Say a number. Nine. There's no nines in here. <laughs> it has to be between one and five, I'm afraid. This is a two. It will be nine, but this is a broken into two, and there are one, two, three. Great. A number between one and nine. Five. Three. Five. A number between one and nine. Seven. Is that what you say? Seven. Three, five, seven. Let's see where we are. Three, five, seven. Ooh. Wow. Amazing. So we're going to read now. From reading, we're going to read Worshipping Govardhana Hill. Woo! 
How many of you have been to Govardhan Hill? Many of you. Well, far out. You've been there, Mananda. You came there with us this year. We went once or twice? Twice, huh? Once. Once, eh? Bima, you've been to Govardhan? Bima? No. <laughs> Madam Mohan? Nikita's been? So we have Giriraj here today. You see the deity? This is a deity of Govardhan named Giriraj. King of all mountains, Govardhan. Wow, look at that garland. I can't believe it. This is from your garden? Whoa. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Who made the garland? Yaroslava Mataji. Hekaini? No. Who made? Yaroslava. Huh? Who made the garland? Ah, so she's uh, she's not here because the daughter is sick oh. and she uh, stay with daughter, but she make this garland. Fabulous! Thank her very much. And the roses smell. They have a fragrance. It's not usually the case that they smell today. Beautiful. Thank you. At least those are roses. These are here. Mm. Ah, okay. So go over down hill. Who knew it? Who knew, who has heard the story of how Govardhan Hill ended up in Vrindavan? Some of you know it. Yeah, you know it. I'm sure you've heard it. It's always nice to hear. Hare Krishna. Most people don't know that some mountains are alive. A live mountain, can you imagine? What's happening? They're sending her away. No, no. She notices that she takes shoes not from this area. Shoes? Oh. So once upon a time, there was a great saintly person. His name was Palastya. And he was traveling around. And he came to this mountain range. And he saw this beautiful mountain. You sometimes see mountains very beautiful, huh? If you go to the Himalayas, have you been to the Himalayas? There are many beautiful mountains. They just look beautiful. Can you understand Russian or English? Or German? Ma, uh, Namarita? Does Mata speak Russian? Russian. Russian, okay, so you can understand. There's one mountain called Annapurna, which is very famous, beautiful mountain, Annapurna. It's tall, beautifully shaped, and snow on top, beautiful valleys. Sometimes clouds around the top. So he saw this beautiful mountain, a little one, a baby mountain. It was a young one, it wasn't very old. It was very gorgeous, very gorgeous mountain. And he wanted that mountain. I want that mountain. He wanted to take the mountain to where he was living. He was living in a place called Kashi. It's okay. It's all right. It's good. It's good. It's good. He wanted to take the mountain to Kashi. 
Do you know where Kashi is? You've been to Kashi. Huh? I know. Varanasi. Varanasi. Holy place. Very holy place. So he wanted to take this mountain there so that he could do his meditation on the mountain. He wanted to be the mountain to be there to he was meditating and performing his bhajan. He wanted to have the mountain there, so the cache is a bit flat. So he wanted the mountain to assist him in his devotion or his meditation. So he approached the father of Govardhan. The mountain had a father. Who? Named Dronachal. And he asked Dronachal, please, because Dronachal was receiving him, a great saint. How can I serve you? Please give me your son, Govardhan. Ah! Oh! Gronachal was <laughs> devastated. But he promised. So. And Govardhan said, I would like to go. I'd like to go on a little trip. I'd like to go for a holiday. But one thing is, you have to understand, that wherever you put me down, I will not leave that place. Mm. So the Mooney thought, well, okay, he was mystical. He could fly in the sky. And he was very powerful. So he said, how will I go? He said, come on my hand. So Govardhan went on to the hand of the Mooney. And off they flew towards Kashi. And of course, by the arrangement of Govardhan, Hare Krishna, the Muni had a call of nature when he was flying through the sky. And it was so bad that he could not control it. Normally this would not happen. But it was Govardhan's arrangement. I can't control it anymore. I have to go down. He went down to the ground. And he had to pass. So he placed the hill on the ground. Govardhan placed him on the ground. When it did his nature call, did his nature call. You know what nature call is? Yeah, I translated. <laughs> and when he came back, he went to pick up the mountain. Govardhan would not move an inch. No way. He got pushed and I got very angry. Yes, Govardhan will not move. Yes. We know where Govardhan decided to uh, come down. Just where Govardhan is now, in Brajadham. Because Govardhan was very big in those days compared to now, at least visibly big. And the Muni cursed the hill, the mountain. I curse you! that you will shrink into the ground the size of one mustard seed a day. So ever since that, God knows how long ago, millions or whatever, thousands or millions of years ago, the mountain has been de 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 gradually going out of sight. And now you see Govardhan is, doesn't look very big. At least not to us, huh? Yes. To the transcendentalist, Govardhan is unlimited. To Krishna's associates, Govardhan expands in any direction to perform any activity to satisfy their desires. Just like in this pastime of Govardhan Puja. After the Govardhan Puja ceremony, after Krishna had convinced all the residents of Vrindavan, Nanda Maharaj, and all the seniors, Why are you doing this Indra Puja for? 
Because normally in India it's common that people, pious people, Hindus, they worship Indra for rain. You know, especially those who are farmers. Because without rain, how can they survive? You need water for the crops, for the animals. So Indra is the, like the water minister. Like you have in Germany, you probably have some minister who's in charge of the water and the electricity. I guess you do. So he's like the universal minister for rain. The rain minister. And wind. And wind is another one, but they work together. A few other things, but especially rain. So once a year they would do this uh, worship of Indra, thanking him for the rain. So why are you doing this, Krishna said? Why are you wasting time like this? What has Indra got to do with it? Even if you don't worship him, the rain comes. It falls on the sea, it falls on the ocean. So you don't need to worship him for that. And even if he does provide the rain, there's a law of karma in this world. You get what you deserve. He's obligated. He has to respond according to the law of karma. If you do good work, you get good result. Doesn't depend on him. We don't need to worship him. Krishna, of course, he bewildered everybody and he convinced them all that better that they perform some ceremony to honor Govardhan Hill. Please, Govardhan is providing all the shade, all the vegetables, all the grass, the water's coming down, rain, waterfalls and lakes. All of our cows are grazing on Govardhan. So why don't we worship the cows and Govardhan? All right, son. If you insist. But first we do the Indra Yagya, the Indra Puja. Then we do the Govardhan Puja or the Cow Puja. No. No, no, Father. No, this ceremony will require vast quantities of items and it will be difficult to collect them, but you have them all here for Indra. We must start right now. Right now. No time to waste. So Nanda Maharaj was convinced of as Krishna's yogic mystic power convinced everyone. And they forgot about the Indra Yagya. And they all got together. How do we do this then, they said. Krishna, how do we do this puja to Govardhan? And he taught them all to do it. How to do it. Eh? And it's a beautiful song which can't sing now. Because we haven't, well, I've got the words, but nobody else has. Where they sang, it said they sang as they went round Govardhan Hill. It's in Gopal Shampoo if you ever want to look at it. So they made, they made huge offerings of foodstuffs to Govardhan, vast quantities of food which they brought to offer to Govardhan. They got all these Brahmins performing different ceremony. Then they fed everybody with wonderful food, even the dogs, everyone was fed. There were lakes of sweet rice, lakes, mountains of chapatis and rice, huge containers of like massive vats full of vegetables. Everything they brought to offer to Govardhan. They circumambulated the hill with the cows in front and 
Everything was gorgeous. Ceremony, a big festival. And they're offering more and more. All of a sudden, the hill assumed a form. A form of Giriraj. Of, he suddenly assumed a form of, the, of Krishna, of the Lord, on top of the hill. Uh, once more, I saw the, the mountain suddenly assumed a, a form, like a human form, on top of the hill. И тогда, как бы, гора приняла образ о, э, человека, ну, по, по, на, наверху этого холма. And he was just devouring. He had many hands. He was just devouring all the food like this. Huge form of Govardhan, but like personified, you know, just like you see the shape of Krishna. Like. And he was just eating everything. No matter how much they could bring, Govardhan was just, woo! It's like some devotees at the Sunday feast are like this, huh? <laughs> no matter how much you give them, they have, give me more, more gulabs. Yeah, he had 20 gulabs, give me more. For this form of Krishna, it was worse. They, they, they could see this. It was not ordinary that this Govardhan Hill is, is the supreme. And they were offering everything and he's just consuming it. So there's Krishna, little boy, and it's the same personality as, as Krishna is there manifest as Govardhan. And he's clicking his fingers. Huh? Ani or, ani or, ani or, ani or. Give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. No matter how much they brought, he wanted more. What is he doing? He's, he's drawing out unending devotion and love from all the devotees. And the villagers from all around, they're bringing vast quantities of foodstuffs in truckloads, big cartloads. Still not enough. Eventually, nobody knew what to do. He seemed to be able to consume the whole universe. And then Lord Balaram came with one beautiful Tulsi leaf. And offered that toast. Ah. Then he was satisfied. This great ceremony was concluded with the circumambulation. And they were singing this. How does it go? Vihita Kena. You remember that song? I can't remember it. He was singing. Bring the Gopal shampoo. I can see it from here. It's in the middle of that top shelf there, the blue book. That's the one. Pass it here. It's right here in this book, believe it or not. Book of Jeev Goswami has written this song which they would sing. Of course, to find it may not be so easy. Govardhan Puja. Not sure where this. Here we go. Go with Ampuja. Defeating Indra's pride. Defeating Indra's pride. And increasing. It's called Decre Defeating Indra's Pride and Increasing Govardhan's Pride. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. This version has only the English in it. Have to be my computer. I don't know where it's maybe in the room. I don't think it's got the uh the Vishbasi in there. The local language. No, it doesn't. It just has the English translation. The coward women sang as follows. In this song one woman asked a question. And the others answered. So they were proceeding as they went round Govardhan Hill, singing this song. Which we'll sing in a minute. 
So lo and behold, after the great ceremony was completed, the Govardhan Puja, everyone was fully fed and satisfied. The festival was concluded. And they all went home. And the next day, of course, very quickly news spread. They didn't have, what do we call this nowadays, Instagram? What else is it? Instagram and what's it? Facebook and internet and WhatsApp. I don't know why it keeps opening like this. It's not meant to open like this. It's weird. You, did you touch something this afternoon or not? Not this afternoon, just now. Weird, it's not meant to open like that. So we are going to see if we can find this song. But the next day, Lord, well that very night, or the next morning, Indra got news of what happened. Now, nowadays it's all on, online, right? Did you hear what happened? You find out something happened in Australia or America or something. Just like that. So he found out from his agents. Did you hear Indra? Oh Lord Indra, did you hear what happened? What the men of earth have just done? Those men of Vrindavan? They have offended you. They failed to perform your puja. In fact, they cancelled it. And they performed a local puja for the mountain of Govardhan and the cows. What? What? Rascals! Those puffed up coward men! And they heard how it happened. That rascal, that puffed up boy, those puffed up men, who do they think they are? So he was rage. He went into a rage. He lost control of his intelligence. But before we go further with that one, let us see, I, I can't guarantee at this last moment that we will be able to find it, but we will try. Let's see, it's, I've got it on PowerPoint. Vihitake now. I don't know where it's called. Here, Govardhan. I don't know if it's there or not. Let's see, get it has to come. It must be under Govardhan Puja. Here we go, Govardhan Puja. Here it is. Ooh, beautiful slideshow. Current slide. Govardhan. Namaste Giriraj. I've got to learn these verses for our Govardhan. This is a little Sheila called a Giriraj Sheila here. A Giriraj Sheila for some of you may be worshipping, I don't know. Does anyone know? No, Anyone here worship Govardhan? You have a Govardhan Sheila at home? A oh, Govardhan Sheila is a stone from Govardhan Hill. It's supposed to come to you. You're not supposed to go there and take it. You're supposed to receive it. Either the Sheila comes to you without asking or you receive it from a resident of, the, of, the, of Govardhan. Maybe from your spiritual master, if he so desires. So we're going to sing this song. And we're not going to sing this song. I'm just going to sing it for you. It's a... Giri pujeham vihitakena Giri pujeham vihitakena So one lady sings that, then all the other ladies reply. Harachi sakkapadam abbam yena Arachi sakkapadam abayam yena You won't be able to get it. We just sing the one line. You try to sing the one line. It's, it's very simple. Giri pujayam vihita kena. Giri pujayam vihita kena. Giri pujayam vihita kena. 
We play the madunga as we're doing this, okay? It's a song. And I don't know where to put my cartels here. Someone can ting ting on the cartels. So I want you to sing Giri Pujeham Vihita Kena. Vihita Kena, Giri Pujeham 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 Vihita Kena, who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill. That's what it means. Giri Pujeham Vihita Kena, who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill, Russian. You have to sing it, you don't say it, you have to sing it in tune. Who performed the worship of Govardhan Hill? Arachi Sakrapadam Abhayam Yena Arachi Sakrapadam Abhayam Yena He who fearlessly usurped Indra's position That's a shout. <laughs> you do it later. It means, who performed the worship of Govardhan Hill? He who fiercely challenged Indra. Big guy, king of heaven. He challenged him, little Krishna. Why did he do it? We'll see in a minute. Okay, sing on. Giri Pujayam. Utanikasa nihata yena, Utanikasa nihata yena, who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill. He who killed Putana! Tina Vatatanu Dala Namyena, Tina Vatatanu Dala Namyena, who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill. He who crushed the Trina Vata Demon, he who crushed the Trina Vata Demon. Yamala Juna Taram Uda Kaliena Yamala Juna Taram Uda Kaliena Yamala Juna Tanam Uda Kaliena Yamala Juna Taram Uda Kaliena Who performed the worship of Govardhan Hill? He who uprooted the Yamala Arjuna trees, he who uprooted the Yamala Arjuna trees. A difficult one. <laughs> Come on! Whoop! Kiri Pujayam, Pihita Kena, Kiri Pujayam, Pihita Kena. Vatsabakasora, Hananam Yena, Vatsabakasora, Hananam Yena, who performed the worship of Govardhan Hill. He who destroyed Vatsasora and Bakasora. <laughs> <laughs> These are all demons who try to attack Vrindavan, all killed by Krishna. Whoop, whoo, together. Be Jay. Giri Pujayam Vita Kena. Go 
magasora mara na miena, yo magasora mara na miena, yo magasora mara na miena, who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill. He who brought death to Vyomasura and Agasura. Kiri Pujaham, the heat the cane, Kiri Pujaham, the heat the cane, Kiri Pujaham, the heat the cane, Kiri Pujaham. Kaliya Dhammanam Kalitam Yena Kaliya Dhammanam Kalitam Yena Who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill? Who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill? He who chastised the Kaliya Serpent Bum 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 he who suppressed the wicked Palambasura. He who. Yogman Pari Pitam Yena Dava Yogman Pari Pitam Yena Dava Yogman Pari Pitam Yena Who performed the worship of Govardhan Hill? He who swallowed the two forest fires. Kiri puja hamita kena, trashti kongsa satatam yena, trashti kongsa satatam yena, trashti kongsa satatam yena. Who perform the worship of Govardhan Hill? He who comes so always fears. He who comes so always fears. Kiri puja ham, 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 kiri puja ham. Pihit the kena, kiri puja ham. Pihit the kena, kiri puja ham. Pihit the kena, kiri puja ham. Pihit the kena. Kiri puja ham, 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 kiri puja ham. So you imagine what fun they had as they were going around Govardhan Hill. Oh, sorry, I... <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you're a little confused. That was quite difficult. Yeah, I said, you can imagine what fun they had while they were going round Govardhan Hill. Mm -hmm. So then this was like, they're singing about Krishna. This Krishna, all the glories of... Of course, this was early in Krishna's pastimes. He was still a very young boy, just a young kid. He was in what was called the Pogunda age, means boyhood, childhood, like five to seven years old. 
He hadn't really manifested his, you know, his maduri or his intimate relationships with the gopis at this point of time. It was brewing, it was brewing, but it hadn't taken place. <laughs> it's like you have a kettle's brewing, but it's not yet boiled, you yeah? know? Coming, coming, it's now coming. So he's mostly playing with his coward boyfriends at this stage. Mostly. And one of their favorite pastimes is killing demons. <laughs> It'd be nice if we also had that as one of our pastimes. Killing demons. But that, what does that mean to us? Yeah. Some people misinterpret that. That means they have to kill everyone who doesn't think the way we do. They're demons. Even some, sometimes even in religions people misinterpret this. One time, Srila Prabhupada's spiritual master, the picture is there, Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj, was asked by some of his disciples, they asked him, Guru Maharaj, is it correct that we should use anger against those who are envious of Krishna? Those who are envious of Krishna, we should be, we should like, you know, fight against them? At least verbally. At least verbally. And he said, yes. So what should we do? Should we fight against the whole world? As most people are envious of Krishna. He said, but first of all, first of all, you have to understand who is envious of Krishna. And he said, look at your heart. Look at my heart, he said. I find no one more envious of Krishna than me. So to whom should I direct my anger? I am the most envious person. He taught them like that. It means we have to cleanse our own hearts. Huh? There's two beautiful verses in the Srimad Bhagavatam, fifth canto. You may have heard them. Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimha Mastejas Tejase Avira Vibhava Vajranaka Vajradaksha Karma Shayan Rindaya Rindaya Tamo Grasa Grasa Om Shvaha Abhayam Abhayam Atmoni Bhu Yishton Kram Please repeat. Translate. You can translate it. No problem. We'll let you translate. You can repeat the Sanskrit too if you want. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it on uh, on here on PowerPoint. I don't. I got it somewhere. That'll be Nishingadev's appearance day. What she knows the translation. Yeah, go well. Who knows? You knows? Who knows? You knows? It's a very important verse, and it's well well worth learning. Seems like you chant this every day, do you? I offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Nishingadeva, the source of all power, O oh Lord, O oh my Lord, who possesses nails and teeth just like thunderbolts. Kindly vanquish our demon-like desires for fruitive activity in this material world. Please appear in our hearts and drive away our ignorance so that by your mercy we may become fearless in the struggle for existence in this material world. Good, huh? If you're really serious. They say in English, charity begins at home. I don't know if you have a saying like that or not. Or another one, physician, that means like doctor. Heal yourself first. So it's the principle of spiritual life. We, side by side, we try to share Krishna consciousness, but we should also be cleansing our own hearts too. 
not just pointing the finger at others. Hey, you have a, another saying, one time, once upon a time, um, you know what a sieve, you know what a sieve is? Who knows what a, it's an English word, sieve, comes from French, sieve. Have you got a sieve here, Janavi? You know when you take flour, you have this thing, you filter it through it, you shake it like this, or, or you, you know, if you've got beans or something, you put them in there, you wash them through. Show us what a sieve is. There's two kinds. One is very fine. Show us the fine one. That's it. There it is. Let's go to, bring it over here. I'm not going to put it on my head. Don't worry. Looks like a hat. The stick on the end. Here we go. This is called a sieve. Okay. The ladies will know because it's a kitchen utensil. The men may not know. So you can see there's a few holes in there, isn't it? Full of holes. So one day the sieve. Got a needle? Got a needle? Bring a needle. Janavi, bring a needle. A needle. You got one there. You're doing flower gardens. Bring a needle. There comes a needle. There it comes. The needle has arrived. Was well, a good needle. A little giant long needle. A long needle with a tiny little hole in it. Oh boy, it's so small I can hardly see it. One. Can you see it? One tiny little hole there. So we have to get real close to sieve. So anyway, it is a needle and it does have a hole in the end. And the sieve sees this needle coming along the road. Hey! Hey, needle! Look at you! Needle, you've got a hole in you! <laughs> you've got a hole! You've got a hole! Isn't it? Look at the sieve, it's got at least a thousand holes. But it's, it's making a fun of the, of the needle with one hole. We don't look at ourselves. We blame others. We criticize others. We find fault in others. Look inside. You know, you're looking through this, you know, and you're seeing that over there. Yeah, you've got a hole. Look at your own faults. Again and again. Thank you, Janavi. You can have your needle back now and your sieve. <laughs> again and again, Bhakti Siddhartha Maharaj would say this. Don't look at your own, don't look at others' faults. Look at your own faults. Try to root out these faults. Otherwise, we can never really understand Krishna consciousness. So this beautiful prayer of Prahlad Maharaj, good to chant it, to help us to cleanse our own hearts. And when the, neck, when the heart is cleansed, then Prahlad Maharaj says this. Then natural compassion arises in the heart. Svasya stuvishvasya Kalapasida tang Jayantu Bhutani Shiva Mitodia Manascha Badrang Bajatada Hokshaje Avesha Tang no Matira Pyohoituki. What happens after our heart becomes a little clean? You wish well for everyone, no matter who they are. May there be good fortune throughout the whole universe. May all envious persons be pacified. May all living entities become calm peaceful by practicing bhakti yoga for by accepting devotional service they will think of each other's welfare how much the world needs this today it's madness you know, we should only be thinking of each other's welfare but we're thinking of our own welfare 
we're not cleansing our hearts, we expect everyone else to listen to me. This is just passing on the scripture, it's not me. We should be thinking of others' welfare, but because our hearts are still material, full of material desire, envy of Krishna, we can maybe think of the welfare of our own kind, but not everyone. Therefore, let us all engage in the service of the Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna, and always remain absorbed in thought of Him. Jai Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Beautiful verses in the Bhagavatam. Um, so we'll go back to our pastime of Govardhan Puja. And... Can you bring for me... I think I've got the, this Krishna book somewhere in there, the big blue one. One book for both. I have a question. Do you have any Russian Krishna books here? That's exactly what I asked. No, but extra ones for Sankirtan. Any extra one? Not yet. Not Do you have any German ones? German, yes, German will come. No, for, for giving, for distribution. Uh -huh. Are there any in your book, book shelf there? They have some German books. But not Krishna books. Not Krishna books. They have it in German? Yeah. They do. It's, um, probably you've all got it, but this Krishna book is so... Amazing. It's, it's not just stories. It's a window to the spiritual world. When we look through that window, the heart becomes purified. Yeah. yeah. We may read a little bit from the Krishna book because the time is short. Yeah. Is that Russian or German? Russian. There was a German one here just now. Here it is. For those who read German, this is a German Krishna book. Give me. And the German, the German, nicely done, huh? It's a whole Krishna book in one volume. Beautiful. In English we have also. This is in two volumes. And there, I mean, as we just heard, we should try to absorb our mind in thinking of Krishna. We should try to absorb our minds in thinking of Krishna. Are you there? <laughs> I know it's not easy when you're fasting all day. He's, Nam Namanrita is doing Pandava near Jala Akadashi. Is that right? So today, amazingly enough, one of our young Vaishnavas here has now got a new name. I don't remember his name before. Let's see if it was him. You may know him or not, I don't know. But his name was Yaroslav, is it? Yaroslav. Yaroslav. Is now Arjuna. Haribo. And his sister, Serena, is. She's not here, she's outside. Her name is Sachi. Sachi! Because she loves Lord Chaitanya, she says. So, Mother Sachi loves Lord Chaitanya. And Yaroslav loves Arjuna. And it's Pandava Nirjala Kadashi today. So. And Vladlena, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, Vladlena. I don't know how to pronounce it. Vladlena. Her name is now Sita. 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 She merely said, I said, who do you like? She said, Sita. Yeah. Sita. Sita. Nice to remember, huh? He reminds us of our attraction towards Krishna. Uh -huh. So before we go on, we'll sing another song. Here's the cartels. And we started to sing it at the beginning. We didn't finish it, right? Are we ready? Very simple.
You listen carefully and I'll go through it as we go. The first two lines are really simple. And I think you already know it, many of you anyway. And you may be, it's in the front of the book, I don't know, let me see. Used to be, I don't know if it still is. Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 Here it is. This is for, right at the beginning of the introduction, if you want. This is in English. I guess it's in the German one too. If anyone doesn't know it, it might be in the German one. It might be in the Russian one. I don't know. So, yeah, it's in the German one. Who who reads German? Would like to have a look. You don't need German. Well, just for the song. I mean, it's not the German. It's just so that you can follow the song. Otherwise, I've got to keep explaining it. For those who don't know it in German, there it is. And I'll sing one line at a time. Here they go. We'll start again. Are you ready? Krishna, 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 hey. Krishna, 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 hey. Then it changes a little bit. If you look in the book, you'll see it. Krishna, 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 Raksha Mom. Krishna, 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 Rama Raghava Rama Raghava Rama Raghava Rakshama Krishna Nuru Keshava Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Pai Mam Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Pai Mam Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे हरे हरि बो हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे हरि राम in the heavens indra was fuming back in the are you in the heavens back in the heavens indra was fuming he was 
enraged. What to do now? We have to punish this coward boy and all the residents of Vrindavan. Such an offense they have committed to me. They should be punished. Call the some some vantakaj you some vertical clouds. Call them here now. Come here, some vertical. Come here. And bring all of your associates. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Together with the most powerful winds in the universe. You must go now, immediately, to earth, to this place called Vrindavan, and devastate Vrindavan, destroy it, don't be afraid, I will be behind you, I will be with you, behind you on my elephant, I will accompany you, they were a little nervous. But off they went. These giant clouds, they normally come at the universal destruction. They don't manifest normally. The heaviest clouds in the whole universe came. And they proceeded towards Vrindavan. And um, like an army flying towards Vrindavan. So, now, that was the next day. And they arrived in Vrindavan the next day. So that's on the third day. Attack! Strike! And Indra order them to attack. To strike Vrindavan. The winds became like, I don't know. We have this, uh, what is it, when they have the, the cyclone? Number five or something. Magnitude 5, the topmost. This was magnitude 5 million. It was just, the wind was just like roaring. The wolf almost blowing the whole world away. The rains were coming down. It said they were like columns. They weren't like big drops. They were like columns crashing to the ground. The hailstones were like rocks crashing to the ground. The wind. And the thunderbolts, smash, bang, smash, bang. The lightning was like crackling everywhere. As Indra ordering his Sambantaka rain clouds to smash Vrindavan. This is what happens when anger gets the better of us. We lose our intelligence. We sometimes think we can challenge the universe, huh? When we come in, intoxicated with pride. Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj gives a very nice little story. It's a story of a beetle, not the musicians, this little insect beetle. You know what, you know beetle, you know, is it, you know little insect, huh? This little beetle like to go into stool. Stool. They like stool. So it's called a dung beetle. A dung beetle. So this little dung beetle, a little bit proud. One day some gentlemen came riding on horses. Big horses. The men got down from their horses near the near nearby the dung beetle. The horses rested. They ate some grass. They peed peed on the ground. Beep. Peed. I don't know. I don't want to say a rude word. They passed urine on the ground. <laughs> the horse riders, they were having a bit of a fun, they were drinking some liquor. And some of the liquor spilled onto the ground. And after a while they got on their horses and away they went. 
After a while, they got onto their horses and rode away. And so the dung beetle always... Can you pull? Could smell something, something different. What is that? It crawled around and it eventually it found the source of the smell. It was the liquor. And the dung beetle is not very big. So it gave a little... Mm. Did a lick at it. The horse is also past stool, by the way. But the dung beetle was attracted to the liquor. And he got completely drunk. Yeah, they also was, he was wobbling all over the place. Completely forgot who he is. Hey! Wow! He felt like he could conquer the universe. Look at me! Whoa! Then suddenly he saw this pile of horse dung. Hey! The Himalaya Mountains! <laughs> he crawled up on top of this dung. And he stood there on his back legs. Hey, I've conquered the universe. Who can challenge me? <laughs> Stupid beetle. <laughs> but you're intoxicated. When you get drunk or when you're with pride, you lose all reason. After a while, an elephant happened to come by. Elephants are a bit bigger than beetles, you know. Hey, hey, you! You! Come here! Come here! You come to challenge me, huh? I'll teach you a lesson, elephant! You can't beat me! Mm, look at my muscles! He challenged the elephant. Can you believe it? Just like modern science is challenging the universe. Huh? Idiots. They can't even conquer over death and they think they can conquer the universe. About 1970 in West Berlin there was a, a science convention. And the title is a true story. The title of this convention was Man's Conquest Over Nature. Man's Conquest Over Nature, Over the Material Universe. How man is defeating or conquering the universe. So they're sending rockets to the moon and this and that, you know. Big show. And so it was. In, they chose the wrong date. They chose the winter day. And scientists were coming from different places. For the last moment, they had to send out a message. A snow blizzard struck the city. A blizzard, snow, blizzard, came and hit Berlin. No planes could land. We are sorry. Con the convention is cancelled due to circumstances beyond air control. Just a bit of snow. Man's conquest over the universe. Can't even call conquer the snow. It's called pride. And that's like it is. <laughs> eventually the elephant, the elephant of time comes along and that's the end of us, you know. You may be Einstein, you may be this Stein or that Stein, but time comes along, boom. And he was a pious man, Einstein. Pious man. Anyway, this dung beetle is very happy up there. Hey, come here, challenge me. The elephant looked at the beetle and said, This beetle is crazy. He's mad. You're mad. 
You think I'm mad? You find out. You come here, challenge me. So the elephant went towards the beetle to check it out. Now, it so happens elephants can't stand the smell of cow urine. Of, cow, of, of horse urine. Elephants don't like the smell of horse urine. When the elephant smelt the horse urine, oh, ugh, he just turned away and started to walk, walk off. <laughs> just say you're scared of me. <laughs> I defeated you. And the elephant thought, this dung beetle needs to learn a lesson. He's a little bit proud. So before he finally went away, he just turned his rear side towards the dung beetle and the pile of horse dung. And he did an abbey shake on top of the dung, on top of the dung beetle. He just emptied his bag at the back, you know. And down come 50 million tons of elephant dung. Crash down. Boom! <laughs> Flattened. <laughs> Flattened. Poor dung beetle. It's only a story, don't worry. Don't get too emotional. It's only a story. But that's the nature of pride. We get crushed. Crushed. You may for a moment think you're on top of the world, but you get crushed. No matter who you are. Pride. The most, pretty much number one, uh, you say, obstacle in spiritual life, practically. Because uh, pride leads to, you know, many things, anger and, you know, ill feelings and so on. So, uh, Krishna wanted to teach Indra, who's supposed to be his devotee. Even devotees sometimes get puffed up or proud. So he wanted to teach him a lesson that he would not forget. <laughs> you see this recurs in the Bhagavatam that this teaching this lesson to cut pride. In the Bhagavatam you see this occurs quite frequently. Cutting down the pride whether it's Dervasa Muni or Whoever, several times this comes up. And so Krishna, his kindness, decided to, instead of surrender to Indra, he decided to teach him a lesson. You're proud. Okay, so what to do? The, 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 the whole of Vrindavan was about to be devastated. Everyone's crying. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Rakshamam, please protect us, Krishna, please protect us. Of course, Krishna merely protected everyone. Well, there are many different aspects. I mean, Krishna's Sudarshan Chakra was also protecting them already. Otherwise, they would have not been able to get anywhere. They would have been devastated already. But it was a dangerous situation. All the cows were struggling, the calves were struggling trying to find shelter. The buildings were being blasted. The, the, everything was being, dis being hit by this storm. So Krishna did. He protected everyone. And it seemed like nothing was happening, practically. He said, just come. And with his left hand, with his left hand, he lifted up the whole mountain of Govardhan. Not with a finger, not with a finger, no. Left hand. Srimad Bhagavatam says left hand. Mahabharata says left hand. Gopachampu says left hand. Vishwana, everyone says left hand. However, the finger comes in later. Lifted with left hand. And he invited everyone to come under the hill. The cows, billions and billions of cows and billions of coward boys and coward girls. And everybody came inside. And even all the countless animals on the mountain were protected. They were all above the clouds. 
And the mountain was protected. Sudarshan was just drying up all the water around the edge. And Nantashe circled around the mountain. The snake form of the Lord formed like a, a wall around the mountain. And Nantashe was drying up where necessary. Um, excuse me, Sudarshan. In this way, Indra is going mad, but he's having no effect. You take shelter of Krishna. You have nothing to fear. There's another story. I'm not sure which scripture is it. There's a story of Vrindavan. One time, Krishna, Balaram, and Sridham. Sridham is very strong. Strongest of the cowboys. boys. They wanted to stay out overnight. Some of you have baby, uh, have young boys. And they like to go out sometimes and stay in the forest, huh? Adventure. Let me see, I can't see. You have a son? You have a son? A boy? A daughter. Is a boy over there? Who, was that a boy? Little Indian boy? Maybe I got it wrong. Anyway, if you have a boy, they often like adventure. So Mother Yasoda, no, 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 no. No, 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 you can't stay overnight. Who says like that? You can stand. Mother Yasoda, she said, How can I can't let you stay in the forest overnight? No! It's dangerous! It's the Oogly Googly Demon lives there. She tried to dissuade them. She made up a name. Oogly Googly Demon. A name or another. You can't go there. It's dangerous. There's a demon there. I can't let you go, my son. No! But eventually, okay. Sri Dham said, I will protect them, he's very strong. Eventually she had to give way. They went to stay in the forest overnight. This demon was very proud. This demon was very proud. He actually existed, actually. So they're sleeping there at night, enjoying themselves in the forest, the three of them. And they said, okay, Sri Dham, why don't you stay guard for some time? They slept. Krishna Balaram took rest. Sri Ram went on guard. And sure enough, after a short while, this ferocious demon appeared on the scene. Hey! I'm going to kill you. You're not going to come here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am! Come on, fight with me! Fight with me! So Sri Dham took it up. They fought and fought and fought and fought and fought. Eventually Sri Dham was getting so tired. He wasn't, he wasn't winning. This demon was so strong. And Sri Dham ran. He ran back to Krishna Bala and wake up, wake up. It's this terrible demon there. I can't beat him. So then... Balaram said, don't worry, I'll go. Off went Balaram. And the more you fought with this demon, the bigger he got. He got bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. The demon, the demon, yeah. He was a night demon, you know, night demon said like that. Balaram, they, they started a fight. The demon was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Even Balaram ran back. Krishna, what are we going to do this demon? All right. So Krishna went out there. He went out to challenge, the, not to challenge the demon, but to face the demon. Come on, Krishna. Come on, fight with me. The demon says, yeah? Yeah. The demon. I'm not going to fight with you. You're nobody. You're a weakling. Come on, fight with me! Fight with me! The demon slowly got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller until he became this big. Krishna picked him up in his hand, held him in his hand, and walked back to the tent. <gasps> Krishna! You survived, thank God, you survived. <laughs> Didn't you see the demon out there? Demon? What demon? The huge demon, the ugly googly demon. Yeah, he's so strong. 
Demon? Nothing much. All I, you mean this guy here? <laughs> this one? Chiku, chiku. <laughs> Poor little fellow. <laughs> you mean this guy? It's kind of an indirectly understanding. We, we think we can fight against all of the material desires and enemies in our heart. When demons attacked Krishna, uh, Vrindavan, the residents just took shelter of Krishna. And this is our situation. We have no shelter other than... The two is very powerful. We try to challenge, we try to control, we try to whatever. We have no power. Only those who take shelter of me, Krishna says, can overcome this material energy. Only those who take shelter of me can overcome this material energy. This is a devotee's position. It's, we're practicing. When we chant Hare Krishna, we're supposed to be taking shelter of Krishna. Are you okay, Mata? Does she need something? You all right? Need a proper chair or something? What would she need? You need something? <coughs> what does she need? Huh? What does she need? What does she need? If she wants something to rest her arms on, why don't you get, let her sit here and I'll sit in a chair? You sure? He doesn't look comfortable. We want you to be comfortable. Okay. Anyway, if we can help, please. Let's... She just changed position and she's okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> So taking shelter of Krishna. So they all called out, Krishna, save us, save us. This is Kavadhan Lila already. We're in Vrindavan now. Indra's attacking Vrindavan with innumerable clouds and storms. Save us, save us, the residents say. Indra's oblivious. He's just devastating rain coming down. He, think he's, he thinks he's defeating his enemy. His enemy is having a fantastic time under Govardhan Hill. Everyone's enjoying themselves like anything. And Krishna balances, they say anyway, this is local folklore, it's not in the scriptures. But he balances the hill on his finger. Well, that's what local folklore says. There's nowhere in the scripture. I don't know of anywhere you read that. But whatever, Krishna could do anything he likes. And they're having a big party underneath the hill. They're all enjoying themselves like anything. Everyone's having Krishna's darshan 24 hours a day. Now imagine what it's like underneath a mountain. Imagine what is it like underneath a mountain. What would it be like? You imagine yourself under a mountain. Not very nice, huh? Pretty scary. Especially when it's being balanced on a little point of a finger. Maybe it's got things dripping down, rocks, dark, damp. No, it was Goloka Vrindavan under there. It was the spiritual world. Everything was there. What's going on back there? Somebody's leaving. Where's my glasses? Are you leaving? Who's leaving? You're leaving. Where are you going? The children want to eat is they organize something for them. Oh, good, good, good. Make sure everyone gets prashad. If anyone has to leave, 
Mate, you're supposed to have gone by now, young man. It's going to be a late night for you. <laughs> it's too exciting. We're in Govardhan Hill. <laughs> we can't leave. We're doing Prikrama of Govardhan. Here is Raj. Seven days passed. And still, nothing. Eventually, Indra realized that all of his efforts were futile. He'd been frustrated. And he called back, all the clouds were exhausted, they had no water left. They were exhausted. The winds were tired out. The hailstones were finished. Everything was... Indra had lost everything. He called everyone back and everyone back to the heavens they did go. Indra was so morose, so miserable. Oh no, what have I done? What's going to happen now? Oh, my God, what has happened? Sometimes Krishna frustrates us, huh? Sometimes Krishna frustrates us. Uh, and then you start to realize, I'm not the doer, I'm not the Lord, I'm not the controller. Oh, my Lord, please have mercy on me. He didn't know what to do. His spiritual master, Brihaspati, came on the scene and said, You've made a big mistake, sunshine. <laughs> big mistake. I don't know what to help. I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. You've really gone overboard. You tried to kill Krishna? You tried to devastate Vrindavan? Not good. I can only suggest you go and see Lord Brahma. I believe he also had a problem. And some or other he got out of it. He also went to Vrindavan and tried to cause trouble there. He tried to steal Krishna's cows and cowboys. Why do you go and see him? So he went to see Lord Brahma. So this is like 10 days after the event practically. Ten days after Govardhan Puja. He went to see Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma said, Oh dear me. Oh dear, 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 dear. I, I don't know what to say here. This is really serious. Yes. What I did was pretty bad. I tried to steal them. But you tried to kill them. There's a little difference, boy. I don't know how I'm going to... I can't give you... I don't know what to say. He said, the only thing I can think of is, you know, Sur Surabi is not far from here. Surabi mother, mother of the cows. You try to kill all the cows. There's no one more dear to Krishna than those cows. You better go to her and beg her for her mercy. Maybe, maybe she can help you. So he, he did and humbly begged Surabi's mercy. Surabi, Surabi in one sense was very angry because of what he tried to do to her cows. But at the same time, she saw this as a wonderful opportunity to go to Vindavan and have Krishna's association. So along with Indra they proceeded to Vindavan. Boma Vrindavan on this earth. Boma Vrindavan. And humbly, together with Sarabi, Indra fell in all humility. So by the mercy of a devotee, one who is very dear, he offended the cows. You can't 
just go to Krishna when we commit an offense to somebody. We also have to go to that person and beg their mercy. So along with Surabhi, he begged Krishna's forgiveness. Krishna forgave him. And they performed a very big ceremony for glory. For all the other demigods turned up. They all came. Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, they all appeared on the scene for this great ceremony to establish Krishna's Govinda, the Lord of the Cows, the Lord of Vrindavan. They all worshipped him with heavenly paraphernalia, just like we have here. Where's the bell? Where is, is there a bell here? Ding, ding. They were ringing bell, offering ghee lamp. The bells were made of gold and silver and everything, pure, huge items, solid. No Brahma, any RT. Sarabi is bathing Krishna with her milk. Airavata with celestial waters. They're all worshipping Krishna. According to their means, they're all worshipping Krishna. And all the kuns around Govardhan Hill are being formed from this Abhishek, including what you know now as Govindakund. That was the main one. Govindakund. So all these kuns were formed, and now Krishna stood there accepting all of this puja. Are you leaving, Haladar? You can't. I mean, he's got a six-hour drive. And then Krishna stood there. This is an example. Accepting all this worship, just like we do on the altar. Two, four, six, eight. Who do I appreciate? Is that four or five? The one too many. It's wrong. Four, four, not five. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. What's next? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who's next? He's next. Okay. One, two, three, four. Next one. One, two. One next one. One, two, three. I mean, it's childlike infant stage of devotional service. Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, which we're all on. Rules, regulations. There's no rule and regulation in Braj. The only thing we, the only rule is whatever brings Krishna pleasure. That's the only rule. So anyway, the demigods are ritualistic. So they were doing all these things. Krishna's bored stiff, standing there. When are they going to finish this ritual? I don't know. That. Of course, it depends on where you're from and what you're at. I know some of us, when they have these big ceremonies for marriage, they're just... When is this going to finish? When is it going to finish? It goes on for days, you know, in India, it goes on for days. <laughs> You've got to sit there like a king or something, you know. Anyway, eventually it finished. Demigods all went back to heaven. And you know, if it was us, we'd take all the gold things and silver things with us, right? We take all the gold and silver with us. But they left it all behind. They didn't take anything. They just left it like garbage on the ground. <laughs> so after that, they all gone. Now Krishna was happy. Now I can get back to my real business, playing with my cowherd boyfriends again. And suddenly all the cowherd boy by Yoga Maya's arrangement, all the Carol boys were at a distance. They weren't witnessing this. No one saw it. Except for a few local boys. And everyone who came there, when they came, they saw this huge, huge bells made of silver and gold, and huge conch shells, and huge ghee lamp holders, and so many things. Big golden plates. What's going on here? What happened? Nobody could work it out. And so the little boy said, 
Well, all of a sudden some funny people turned up. One of them looked like an elephant, he had a trunk sticking out of his face. I don't understand. One of the people had an, a, a trunk, elephant's trunk, sticking out of its face. Another one had three heads. One of them had four heads. Another one had eyes all over his body. Eyes, eyes all over his body, thousands of eyes all over him. They were all funny people, very strange looking. They came here and they waved all these things at Krishna. And they, they sung some strange things. And then they all bowed down. They poured water and all sorts of things over Krishna. And then they all went away. They were thought, boo, is this true? Some thought, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, Krishna says, let's get back to our fun. And they all went back to their real business again. Let's see how many things Krishna achieves in one pastime. Cuts down pride. Satisfies Sarabi. Satisfies all the residents of Vrindavan. And establishes an immortal pastime of Govardhan Hill, Puja. So sometimes Krishna instigates his devotees to behave in such and such a way to reveal this pastime. And now we can go to Govardhan Hill. We can hear the pastime. We can become purified of pride by hearing it. Realize how important it is to take shelter of Krishna in every situation. And how important the cows are in Krishna consciousness, in human society. And on and on. on. Hare Krishna. Wonderful. So if you haven't been, please go. We don't have um, copies, I think. We have one, I and mean, we can get more. Um, where's that one German book? What I put that? Where's the German? Give me the German Krishna book. Give me that German one. Now, I know he's not going to agree, but it doesn't, he has no choice. This is almost a new book in, 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 in German. Almost new. I think this is almost brand new. Please, please read the Krishna book. You can read this pastime. Some of the things we've spoken are not in the Krishna book. You'll find some of them in the Srimad Bhagavatam, some of them in the commentary on the Srimad Bhagavatam, some of them in other, uh, like Rupa Go, uh, Jiva Goswami and others who've made commentaries on these pastimes. But please, whatever it is, Please read this Krishna book. It's the most wonderful book to help us to remember Krishna, the goal of our lives, to remember his pastimes, whether it's killing demons or having loving pastimes. It's, it's all purifying. It's all transcendental. All transcendental. And written in such a way that even beginners can extract or get guidance to the part to the uh, uh, path of understanding Krishna. So we just have one copy here in German.
We can get another one, Janavi, can't we? Janavi, have you got more? What? No, I mean we can buy another one from the BBT, right? Or from the temple? Yes or no? Yes. We can. We we have do you have any at home, Haladar? Yes, at home, yeah. Okay. Here we go. So I got one here. And if I read German, I'd take it with me, but I don't. Read German. And even if you got one, you can still give one as a gift. The best gift you can give. Krishna, give Krishna to others. If anyone wants this one volume, we've got one only. Special. In German. Huh? Yeah, we'll get another one off of Haladar when we go up to, if anyone takes it, Nienberg, tomorrow. Don't all jump at once. Who'd like to take this one volume of the Krishna book? Here we go. You will? You have to give a donation to Janavi. Give a donation to Janavi. Yeah? She she is book distributor, and we've got not here, but in praxis where we keep. Oh, you have lots of books. So if anyone else wants one, you can get them here. Who wants this one copy now? This minute. Come on, if you read German. Here we go. Harry Ball. Yay. You can give a donation to Janavi, and then she'll get another one. Thank you. Hare Krishna. I can sign it if you want. You want a signature? Подпись. Give me a pen. I also, if anyone reads English, I have two left. This little book which we wrote called Animals in Krishna Consciousness is great for children. It's great for adults. Great for everyone. Well, what can I say? What is your good name? Niklana? Oh, thank you. I'll use this one. Since Arjuna has bought me a special pen. Thank you, Arjuna. I'll write with both. Can you, uh, can we spell Matha's name? S. S for sugar. Sugar. S. V E. V E. T. T or T? T for Damodar or T for Ten? T for Trinavarta. Yeah. L. L for Lord. Okay. A. Oh, Svetlana. Yeah. Svetlana, okay, I know that. Now it's just the pronunciation I'm not good with. And I'll sign it with the other pen. There we go. Thank you very much. And it's the last day of May. Hare Krishna. Jai Svetlana. Jai Svetlana. Hare Krishna. No, I don't know. There's too many hands went up for the animals book. Too many hands. And I'm sure you've got kids? Where is she? She's at home. Is she? Well, I can't. It's hard for me to decide because so many wonderful devotees and four or five hands shot up. What shall I do? Nikita's hand was first.